So this is um, Hearty with her twins. And here, everybody's been asking after Ear Feather. So here's Ear Feather with her boy. So hopefully, hopefully we've resolved our mothering issues. Hopefully, hopefully. And everybody else wants to come in. You're all bold. You're not coming in. Even Bear is over there. She's... Ear Feather is not a very protective mother, and it has nothing whatsoever to do with her being a bottle-fed lamb. It's totally 100% to do with how difficult the lambing she had and um, uh, having a difficult lambing uh, can create this no interest in being a mother syndrome. So hopefully, and a lot of people said, oh, you should have given her molasses and stuff. Well, there's actually stuff that I give for to use. It's full of glucose and vitamins and minerals and stuff like that. So she gets a dose of that. So hopefully... She is going to be a good mother. No, she's still being not a very good mother. No, she's going to start. He's trying to nurse. She's being good for the moment. But I don't want, she was trying to kill her lamb the other day, whenever it was nursing. At the moment, she's standing there. And hopefully, it'll work. Just like um, the other lamb, Hearty, over here, was trying to kill one of her lambs. She has twins. And she was accepting one and trying to kill the other. The one that she was rejecting is that one that's nursing now with the broken blaze. And she was only accepting this one here, with the big blaze. But that she's letting this one that she was literally pucking into the air, I kid you not, uh, and pucking up against the sides of the st stable wall. So sheep, if they decide they are rejecting a lamb, they try and kill it because they don't want to share their milk with another lamb that they think is not theirs. So what I had to do was put them in this adoption crate. So they were facing each other, so they had company. But these bars prevent the yo's from, see, look. I might have to put them back into the adoption crate and I'll show you what that does. Um, it makes it so they can't see the lamb to kill it. So, yeah, you were trying to kill your son the other day, weren't you? So, I might have to put them back into the adoption crate if she starts trying to kill her lovely ram lamb. He's a beautiful boy. He's a beautiful boy. And she has beautiful twins, but look, she's letting one of them suckle. And I think she's letting them both suckle and not killing one over the other like she was the other day. I have to keep a close eye to make sure that uh, they don't return to killing their lambs. It's one of those kind of things that occur See, she's letting it snuffle around there, and what she was doing was literally pucking it and flinging it up in the air and hitting it into the wall. So she could have killed it or broken bones in it. Let's see. She 
she's letting it suckle, so that's an excellent sign. See it's suckling, you can see its tail going just around the corner there. Hopefully that's fine. Oh, look, an ear feather is letting it suckle here. So we're nearly there, hopefully. I will just have to keep, in the next hour, I have to keep a close eye to make sure that ear feather doesn't try and kill her son. Sadly, ear feather started belting her son again. So she's back into the um, adoption crate. Um, I'll give her another 48 hours. He's doing fine, he's okay. Not the worst for wear, but if I'd left them alone for any length of time, she could have killed them. And I thought it was working really well, but obviously it wasn't. And this girl is doing very well. She is looking after, she's actually right now letting the lamb she was rejecting and belting around the place, she's allowing it to suckle now. They're both hers. But, um, so that's a relief. So the adoption crate halfway worked, but uh, Little Miss Ear Feather uh, is completely rejecting her son. So another 24, 48 hours in the adoption crate. This, these bars on either side, she can lie down, stand up, eat, drink, have water, everything. These bars prevent her from moving too far out of the way so that the lamb can't suckle. So the lamb can suckle. And it looks like it's cruel and unusual, but it's the only way to do it. You can't, she has to not see or smell the lamb for her to, because the lamb will start smelling like her and her milk. Uh, and if she gets, if she's loose, she'll kill it. If she, if I tie her up by her head, that's a little bit more cruel. Uh, and she can also swing her arse around and stomple her ram lamb. But importantly, if this doesn't work, he will have to be bottle reared. But at this stage, the lamb is getting all the bee stings or colostrum that uh, ear feather has created, which will give him a healthy start to life. And that's the most important thing. So we'll leave it at this, and hopefully ear feather will continue. We'll, we'll hopefully this not wanting to be a mother issue will resolve. So I'm very pleased that this has worked out here. That uh, she's taken both her lambs and is feeding them both, which is great news. Thank goodness one of the adoption crate issues has worked out.